All right, here we're going to take a look at some images of a young Seuss, the original light bearer, the light bearer that rules Mount Olympus, was actually the Mount of Edom, Esau, in the Bible. All right, so as you can see here, this individual, Seuss, when he was young, he pretty much looked like a European, right? Blonde hair, blue eyed colored eyes and these people sprang from Noah here on earth Noah was the first Gentile in scripture he spawned the Japhetites the Europeans as you can see his girl here has red hair she's known as Hera in Greek mythology these are pretty much the couple that rules Mount Olympus, right? The power couple, the king and queen of the Greek Roman gods. In the Bible, their offshoots are known as Gentiles or Edomites. Scripture says that Esau was born red and hairy all over like a hairy garment. I wonder if that's a trait that he got from this goddess here named Hera, who's got red hair, whom bore a son in the heavens named Ares, who's known as the god of war. And that's what Esau was, a hunter, right? Go figure. So basically you have these uh, deities these fifth dimension, fourth dimension, and third dimension gods and goddesses, angels, infiltrating the line of Adam, okay? Through being such as Noah, Japheth, his people, uh, Esau, and his people. And even within the 12 tribes of Israel, you have individuals that were known to have Edomite or Gentile characteristics such as King David. And that's a whole nother subject, okay? That's why scripture says that not everyone that is of the 12 tribes of Israel is actually Israel, but only the 144,000, the elect, okay? The crim or the crim. So, yeah, these individuals have been masquerading as Israelites. Uh, Gentiles, Edomites, you name it. And the mythology that you read about them, it's actually true, ladies and gentlemen, believe it or not. See, they like to make it seem like it's just myth, you know, just a story. It hasn't been actually confirmed, but it's true. And if you run a background check on Seuss during his youth and prime, you'll see that he started off as a great hero, vanquishing the titans and all that that were being cruel and mischievous but he himself over time uh, became vain because of his appearance he had a thing for women he was obsessed with them and you know he was a bit of a player causing problems a lot of women lost their lives because of his infidelity to his wife here Hera much to her disdain she's loyal to him despite everything he's done and obviously he's very prideful became cruel he aged a lot he does he's a shell of what he once was which is looking at here uh he's old now okay it's a little beat up and you know he's not as sharp as he once was he's kind of reprobate he's not all there in the head because white people we know they have the recessive gene meaning they start off good but over time they corrupt themselves so their light is going out and just read the bible it tells you what happens to the Gentiles. We're on the time of the Gentiles, and it's coming to an end. You see, but the uh, Seuss has done an excellent job at hiding who he really is, Lucifer, the true Lucifer. Most people think that Samuel, the angel of death, is Lucifer, but Seuss has been, you know, passing the blame to his angels and his uh, family in order to cover his tracks. And these other idiots are loyal to him despite everything he's done to them. And, yeah, they've been ruling the earth for a while now. Um, 
I could go on and on, but that's your homework. Read up on Zeus, the mythology regarding these Greek Roman gods and goddesses and the angels that represent them. So yeah, these individuals are real. Like I said, I ran into Zeus here. Uh, obviously, he's all old now. He looks like Master Roshi or Dr. Jero, right? Uh, other times, he looks fat, like Santa Claus or Odin from the Avengers. Uh, I haven't seen him in his glorious form like you see here. I don't think he could achieve that form nowadays because he's corrupted himself. And, yeah, he wanted to be like the Most High, you know? He wanted to ascend, and I guess he, he corrupted himself. And he's been, you know, playing God for the longest now. He's had humanity believe that he is a Heavenly Father. He's not, okay? He's just been masquerading. They've been masquerading as a celestial parent, these two. It's just to reflect worship, adoration, and admiration back to these individuals who are nothing more than just, you know, want to be uh, most high God, you know, want to be prime creators. And yeah, you can see the lightning bolt here that Zeus is holding, lightning, okay, light, get it? He's the light bearer, that's what Lucifer means. These Gentiles are Luciferians, light bearers. They represent the sons of thunder, sons of lightning. All right. Your Europeans. See, I understand the Bible on a higher level, higher dimension, higher realms. Okay, and like I said, his symbol is the eagle. He covers the eagle. Round, bald eagle, gold eagle. Uh, uh, Gentiles in the Bible are known as uh, kind of brutish, uh, beast-like, inwardly, okay? So they're called Gentiles. They don't have the spiritual laws written in their minds and hearts. All right, and you can see Zeus takes different appearances. Sometimes he wants to look like the creator and stuff like that. That's why he appears as a melanated being sometimes, Looks like tries to look like the Heavenly Father, just to throw you off. His true origin is Gentile. He's a Gentile god. That's what he is in mythology. He's a god. After the war with the Titans, he they, that's what he started calling himself and his people, gods, goddesses. And they inserted themselves in the Bible to reflect worship back to them instead of the true celestial parents. So what they've done with religion is they inserted themselves in the scriptures to reflect, well, like I said, worship and adoration, admiration back to them. But the scriptures have been distorted by these same individuals from the fifth dimension, fourth dimension, and all the way on down to kind of keep humanity going in circles, a lot of souls, right? They bastardize the human race with religion. I mean, there's a lot of truth in the Bible, but there's a lot of BS. Like when you read the Old Testament, you read about this crazy bipolar God. That's just him, you know trying to play the good cop, bad cop. He uses Samuel, his agent, the angel of death, who most people think is Lucifer. No, he uses him to play the bad cop while he plays the good cop. All right? And in the New Testament, you read about Emmanuel. Basically, Emmanuel came to tell us that, look, we're one with the prime creator. We're above these uh, Greek Roman gods and goddesses and the angels. Uh, he came to bring us knowledge that, look, you have the mind of a God, of an anointed one, a child of the Creator, right? Celestial parents. And you are a God within if you build the kingdom of God within you, okay? That's what he came to bring humanity, knowledge that, look, you could become that vibrant being, that you are just as strong, if not stronger than them. And they want to prevent humanity from achieving their Godhood, okay? So they, you know, done all kinds of things to cover their tracks and to, I mean, they even infiltrated, like I said, the 12 tribes of Israel. A lot of the great warriors that you read in the Old Testament are nothing more than these individuals looking like Israelites, but when disembodied, they look like Gentiles 
or Edomites, right? Europeans. So these individuals are the bad guys in Scripture, okay? And their time is short, and they know it. They either let humanity just go on about their business and buy out the easy way, or they go on with their agendas and, you know, just delay the inevitable. Uh, they can't give you the spiritual stuff, so they got to, you know, throw in mythology and throw all kinds of lies with truths. Because if they're already giving you the technology, right? Like the technology we have comes from them. So for them to give you the spiritual stuff on a higher level, they'd literally be committing suicide. Okay? So they can't give you everything. So they're either going to give you technology that's bad for you or whether it's good or bad. and not, They don't want to give you the spiritual stuff. They might give you some of the spiritual stuff. So either way, they're handcuffed, okay? And, but these are the gods that a lot of you worship, thinking it's the Heavenly Father and Mother, you know. So quit worshiping these clowns. A lot of you uh, souls have been to eternity and back. These beings have been stuck in fifth dimension, fourth, third, second, first, and on down for the longest. All right? But see, what's going on in the higher realms is different than what's going on on Earth. On Earth, things manifest on a religious level, okay? In order to identify these beings and track them all the way up or track them who they are here on earth, you got to start with the scriptures and decipher what's what. And then read about the mythology and see, make the connections, okay? Uh, yeah, scripture says that, you know, our enemies will make their own tongues and actions, uh, uh uh, bite them in the ass. Come back to, you know, bite them in the ass. Backfire on them. That's what's happening. So they've been trying to do what they can to, you know, keep control of the earth and souls. But, you know, like I said, it's falling apart. So, yeah, these individuals, they want to be human so bad. And, uh, yeah, they could download into humans that are not protected, that are not insightful. Uh like I said, I ran into some of these individuals in Florida. So anyways, moving on. Let's take a look at some more images. Oh, and another thing. Uh, the characters that you see on the show called Dragon Ball Z, that's just them depicting themselves, okay? You see most of these characters, have, when they go Super Saiyan, they go blonde. Okay, they have the colored eyes. You see the orange, fourth dimension, the yellow hair, fifth dimension. And those that watch the show know that, you know, a lot of these individuals start out as primitive apes or monkeys, right? That's what uh, Esau kind of represents in the Bible, primitive barbarian hunters, right? Or fighters. And that's why they got the colors, you know, the gold, uh, or some was not the gold, the yellow, not gold, definitely not gold, yellow, orange, and you see the lightning surrounding them, okay, the lightning bolts of Zeus, light beings, light bearers, Luciferians. So that's, that's all their stuff. They're telling you subtly if you pick up on it, all right? Angels of Mount Olympus are gods and goddesses. So they're snitching on themselves, all right? It's all coming out. Now if you can make the connections, I mean, it's obvious, right? You see the aura, the lightning, all right? Sons of Thunder, stuff like that. Yeah, I used to like this show a lot. Now that I know what's going on, it's like, ugh. It's all coming from them. Now it's like, ugh. If I'd have known this, I, I, didn't even been, I wouldn't even waste my time with this nonsense. That's entertaining, but I'd rather be doing something else with my time. Anyways, yeah. Uh, Odin, 
right from the Avengers. Another depiction of the old man Lucifer. That's how he is now. He's old. When I see him, he's old. Like I say, he looks like a uh, Dr. Jerome Master Rossi or Santa Claus Odin. You see him with the patch, meaning his light is going out. His understanding is shot now. He's corrupted himself. He's become deprived in his thinking. So yeah, it's just more depictions of Lucifer now at an older age. Zeus, he's old now. All right, that's why you see pictures of him as an old individual. Or middle-aged individual. He's, he's, he's old, all right? He's an old man. And he goes by different, you know, characters and forms. But you're still able to trace him if you pay attention, Okay. The Asgardian just, you know, puts a different spin to Carver's tracks. It represents the barbarian Gentiles. All right, he's not the Heavenly Father, okay? So just get that through your head. Um, if anything, scripture describes the Heavenly Creator as a melanated being. All right? Not some white man that looks like uh, Santa Claus, right? With long hair and a beard. You know, we don't we don't know what the Creator looks like. You know, you can't put an image on it. Scripture tells us quit making images because you're limiting the Creator. So you know that's these clowns. You know, so he wants to look like God, all right? He, he is a God, but he's not the God, the true God. That's what you just don't understand, all right? And here he is as Santa Claus. Okay, just another character of Zeus. All right. The God that rules Mount Olympus and Mount Aviso, Santa Claus. And like I said, I worked with him when I was in Florida. He had a uh, kind of like this form that you see here, fat, old. And he was trying to communicate with me telepathically. He manifested something. He was wearing like a helmet construction. And um, I don't even know. I was like, why well, was so close? And he's scared to say anything. And something manifested in his helmet, like a sticker said, uh, keep calm. It starts with me. Meaning he's not the one true creator, but... Things start with him because he's one of the gatekeepers of the fifth dimension, maybe fourth and other dimensions. So he knows. So he's letting me, that let me know, like, okay, so keep calm. It starts with me. He's letting me know that, look, he's, he's not who I think he is, but he's part of the, the stuff that we're going through in these end times for some of us, right, that are ascending to higher realms. And this individual is just basically in the way, all right, him and his group. But anyways, um, yeah, Santa Claus, all right, get it? Santa's Claus is that he gives you gifts and rewards if you behave yourself. But here's the catch. You got to keep his pagan ways, his heathen ways, you know, Bible speaks against Christmas and all that. So in order for you to get rewarded by Zeus, the true Lucifer, you would have to break the commandments, all right? So, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, so there, there you have it. Um, a lot of Christians, they have uh, the mark of the beast, which is uh, Zeus. G Zeus, right? Go Zeus, that's what it means. G, go. Commanding something to go. Zeus, get it? Zeus, Zeus. The Greek Roman god. So they worship this clown, all right? So yeah, don't quit, quit worshiping. You don't know what you're worshiping, okay? We know what we worship. The true elect. Um, that have been to eternity and back. We know what we worship. Okay, and it's not this individual, right? Come out of the matrix, my friends, all right? Don't get stuck 
and their matrix. All right, so that's all I want to share with you is to get you acquainted with who this individual is in the Bible and in the other realms. Uh, he's not the Heavenly Father, okay? He's that old serpent. Uh, old because, I mean, he's old. He's older than the 6,000 years that this earth has gone through. Way old, <coughs> older if you read the mythology. Who knows how many thousands of years, but definitely a whole lot of thousand years uh, back this individual has made his presence known on earth and elsewhere, right? But they're here on earth now, um, doing who knows what. Um, he's not the true I am. Ahaya, he's not Ahaya. I am. He's not one. Or the one. Uh, the Zeus is himself and his group of Gentiles and Edomites themselves are subject to the prime creator that is above his realm. All right? And that's what people don't know. And they like to use fear, intimidation, images, sounds, stuff like that to, you know, throw you off, make you operate in a low vibration. And that's them just trying to get their hold on things, like I said. Uh, go watch the video that I uploaded about that black brother talking about becoming Christ. It's going to help you, all right? It's going to help you in these end times. If you want to um, write out what's taking place in these end times because a lot of the stuff, a lot of these sorts of problems are coming from these individuals. This individual here, Seuss and his group. All right. So don't fall for the deception. Uh, realize that you are one with the oneness of it all. You are the Christ. You are, you have, if you're human, you have the mind of Christ, and you have God within his kingdom, all right? So connect with your inner self, realize that you're all one, and operate in the love frequency, true love. These individuals, like I said, they don't have true righteousness, true blue, true law and order. They don't have true love, and they definitely do not have the image of the Most High, who is a melanated being. So, yeah, I'm just here to expose them and renounce them and rebuke them, all right? And this here is for those with ears to hear, with eyes to see, and the mind that comprehends on a higher level. All right. It's all tied to scripture if you could, you know, figure out what's what. They made it very difficult for individuals to understand what's going on. But if you stick with it, you understand what I'm talking about. Anyways, that's it for this video. One love, peace, harmony, and... Yeah, shout out to all you righteous humans out there obeying the laws of the universe, creation, and this earth, and sincerity and the truth. All right, keep going. Till next time, shalom.